Morning you guys, it's Karen and I wanted to tell you about my favourite dog products of 2019 for everything from walking, grooming, enrichment, etc, etc. And I actually just had to stop myself and go, right, stop now because I had made a list of about eight and as I was walking about the house, I was like, oh, that's a favourite, oh, that's a favourite. <laughs> but there are just some things that have been so useful and I think would really help you um, in many areas of making your dog happy. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, I'll try and keep it to uh, subjects if you like. And so I'll start by talking about grooming. I don't know if I've ever showed this before. It's not a dog, it's not in the dog category on Amazon. I think it might be maybe for cycling or maybe for DIY or something like that. What does it say on it? Pathfinder. But this has been the most useful thing throughout the whole year. I've used it so much. You can actually see how much I've used it. It's a bit gruesome, but because look at that, that's my foundation from my head. Um, because you just put it on like so, and then you can switch it on. It's all different levels, but I obviously normally have it on the brightest. So I have used this for, I use it for Watson's paw pads, which I check probably every week, every 10 days. Um, depending on the weather. So the paw pads are where in Watson there will be, or any long haired dogs, there will be mats. And so that is absolutely brilliant for seeing exactly what you're doing and stopping you cutting their skin because it's very hard to see where the skin is, where the hair is, you know, because some of their toes are sort of webbed and some are not. Um, and this has been really helpful. It's been helpful when having a closer look at any if you've got a dog with allergies and Watson's always got some kind of lump or bump, it's really good for looking closely at it and seeing exactly what it's like. Um, what else do I use it for? I use this when I'm doing his grooming sometimes. If I want to do the grooming in the hall, I'll sometimes just put this on when I'm scissoring his feet. Um, that won't apply to everybody unless you're an actual groomer, but there's so many things this has been useful for. Um, and I actually did buy a hat that had an inbuilt, like a beanie that had an inbuilt light that was good for when I was out and about walking. But the only thing with that is if you met anyone, you'd be you know, shining a light in their eyes and it was quite difficult to turn on and off. I wouldn't go out wearing this obviously, but um, it just reminded me of it. But I'll link all of these products that I'm recommending for you. Staying on grooming, these thinning shears have just been amazing. And these are, now what's the make? Rose line. Um, they're not cheap. I wanna say they're about 50 pounds, something like that. So they're not cheap at all. But I have used these when I had, I used these when I had my own grooming salon through many, many dogs, you know, hundreds of dogs these have been used for, and I'm still using them now for Watson. And so we're talking that they've lasted a good five years. And, you know, I put a little bit of oil on them after every cut, but they're still just as sharp as when I got them. You know, I haven't had to have them sharpened or anything like that. They're amazing. And the reason I'm telling you about this is I know you don't all groom your own dogs, but what some of you will do if you've got a doodle or any such long haired dog, is you might want to trim around their eyes um, or trim their feet if they're tripping over the hair or, you know, whatever. Um, and these are amazing. Get these over any pair of scissors, because I'd imagine that what most people do that don't know how to groom is get a pair of scissors and, you know, cut across the fringe and it will always look very choppy. Whereas because these are a single sided thinner, if you cut across the fringe like that, it will look softer and it won't look as if it's just been chopped. So I would highly recommend those even for beginners. And they are actually quite short scissors. Um, yeah, so recommend those. And if you do want to learn how to groom your dog, I do have my own course um, using Watson as a demo um, on Udemy. I'll link that below as well. That teaches you exactly how to groom your dog at home. Um, that's grooming. Let's talk about the walk. I have to t show you these poo bags because I don't think I ever talk about poo bags. Maybe I've mentioned them once before, but um, these I've been using probably not long after we got Watson, I started getting these. They are a little bit thinner than they used to be, but they have never let us down yet. Um, but what I like about them is they're strong and they've got handles. And I think handles are really important to tie them. I don't know how how you guys that don't use handles, I, I find that too tricky tying a knot, especially in winter when you've got gloves on. Whereas this is strong and you can tie it, you can tie it together. Um, the bag that it's in, I've just got hanging up in the hall they don't come in this bag, they do just come in, you know, plastic bulk. Um, 
and it is bulk I think I pay about 24 pound and I get hundreds and hundreds of them so you need to have room in the cupboard but I just take them out and stick them in here um, still on the walk this lead hopefully I can find it for you online because I think I got it from pets at home it's by zero oh no it says zero shock and it is by easy dog I think that's quite a popular brand isn't it um, Kev and I have got our own needs that we use because Kev is a lot taller than me and he doesn't have the same problems with his joints but this one is an elasticated lead but it's not one whereby they can go too far on it you know the difference between that and that it's not very much um, because Kev's concern with this at first was that what if you're standing by the road he can still get out into the road but you know the difference is like an inch or two and I make sure that when we're near a road I've got him on a shorter lead but this makes the difference between my I've got tennis elbow and golfer's elbow um, it makes a difference between me being in pain and not because Watson is somebody that pulls now I will clip this onto the front of his harness um, because he I do make always make sure he's got a front leading harness the perfect fit harness is fabulous um, but either way if he does pull it's just not quite as much shock on the joints so I really like that I showed you these wellies I don't know whether it was in a favourites or a haul but these are Jules wellies um, and I got them from Amazon and they are brilliant to just slip on I've got my orthotics in them I've got a spare pair of orthotics in them and I just stick them on in the evening for Watson's business walk and you know I can wear them in any weathers and because they're sort of three quarter length they're not right the way up to the top like I said it doesn't matter if I've got jogging bottoms on or whatever I've got on they will fit I probably wouldn't wear those for more than half an hour I would say I don't know they don't they don't particularly feel sturdy enough to go for long long walks in um, but for me they're great to just pull on and you know go in the garden or, or go for a short business walk like I say um, and the final thing to talk about when walking is this because this has just been amazing and this is not at all new and I didn't just discover it in 2019 but I did buy another bottle in 2019 and another sling because mine had sort of um, frayed at the bottom and I had sewed it and you know it was just it was definitely time for a new one so I got a new sling to put the bottle in but this no I didn't buy a new bottle what am I talking about this has got water in it because he, he doesn't tend to drink much in the winter but it's got its own cup in it and so you fill the bottle up you've got when you want to stop you can just pour the water in there do you want some water no pour it back in again um and then it goes into that sling and you can wear it across you if you've watched any of our vlogs you've probably seen kev most of the time carries it when when we're going out together um or i carry it when it's just myself and watson and it's just so handy it carries more a lot more than some of the water bottles um and so i've always got water on me and it's comfortable to carry it doesn't pull on me or anything like that you know you can wear it across i've board. got a few things to talk about with regard to enrichment um and one of them is a book that i can't for the life of me find and i i know i wouldn't have given this one away you know if it's one of those books that i will keep and refer to and i don't know where it's gone but it's called brain games for dogs is it brain teasers um i'll link the book for you i would highly recommend that if you are looking for enrichment ideas with your dog um and then i've got a few things here that are some of them are made for enrichment some of them not so much i have to tell you about this because this is still for sale in asda i bought it a good year ago and it's just a paint palette but you can see that you've got these little pots that come out um and the way that I use this as an enrichment treat is I just I put a piece of pork in there and put that in. Then I put a piece of pork in there and then I put a little bit of fabric in and put that inside as well. Um, and so I think that's a really, really good game to help them. You need to put something strong smelling in there like pork or hot dog or something for them to figure out how to get the treat. And we bring this out quite a lot. Watson absolutely loves it. You see, you know, he starts getting these off and throwing them around as soon as he sees it because he knows what to do now. Um, this is something that I just bought recently I think I bought it for Watson's birthday and it's just a soft toy but it's got a hidden velcro compartment where you can put treats and so that's a really handy way to kind of get a dog started on scent training you could put some treats in there and you know see if they were able to figure out to to get in and get the treats then something that's very similar is this toy it's a cushion um, and you put treats in these little pockets this did take a while to arrive. This is, I don't think this is available on Prime, but Watson absolutely adores this cushion and 
you can see he has ripped off the end of that at first I had to tell him to be gentle and then he is now gentle with it um, you can put things in the end and it's just it's a really nice way like he puts his little paws on it you know it's a nice way of him having a bit of enrichment when he's perhaps tired but still needs something for his brain to relax or for his brain to be useful which will then relax him um, so love that the final enrichment thing is this and this is a sock dryer so it's just like an indoor um, washing line I suppose you'd say but it's compact and with lots of pegs on it and so the way you use that is you could either use bits of fabric or what I did was I got um, really cheap disposable little sweetie bags and I put things on in there and hang it on here I'm sure you've seen it if you follow me on Instagram certainly um, you will have seen this being used several times and then just hang it I hang it on my ironing board um, and you obviously you need to supervise you don't want to pull in over the ironing board which you know Watson has had a good old pull at this sometimes um, but it's just a really really good game and it's another way of getting them to think about how to get the the truth I've got a few things to show you um, regarding training the first one is a book that I do have and this is one that I'll be keeping as well and it's called inspiring resilience in fearful and reactive dogs I don't have a fearful and reactive dog but I read this book cover to cover and made notes etc when I was working with that rescue Morley she was fearful reactive in every sense of the word um, and this was really really useful it really helped me figure out the best way to help her and so if you have a reactive dog I would highly recommend this book it's really really good there's kind of a series of these I think written by Sally Gutteridge um, the other thing I would say is usefully something like this is, is liver paste and I have yet to find a dog that doesn't like it and I've worked with some really fussy dogs um, you know I've had some situations where dogs are nervous so just off the top of my head I can think of two separate dogs that were coming to stay with me you know that I was looking after and the owner was concerned in fact I used to do this with grooming as well the owner was like oh she might be a bit funny or he might be a bit funny when I'm leaving and so I would just get this out and say what's this and that was it they weren't bothered that their owner was leaving they were bothered about the liver paste and you know Watson will do anything for liver paste this is supposed to be liver is supposed to be like crack for dogs um, but the liver paste above all works and so I use this for like door training when we've trained Watson not to rush down to the door or not to run out of the door um, this has been really really useful in rewarding him because it's so important to him that he's happy to sort of fight against his instinct to find out who's at the door to wait and get some of this another thing this would be good for I haven't used it for this for a couple of years now is um, to have in your pocket when you're out walking because it's something that it does this one doesn't leak oil the um, Arden Grange one I found does leak oil but this one doesn't it's not an oily one at all you know you can open it and you can see there's the paste in it there whereas with the Arden Grange one would leak oil when you opened it oil came out it just was a bit messy uh, but this would be great if you're trying to teach them to heal or for recall something like that you know really good and the final kind of training thing I would say is a clicker. Um, if you've got a dog that you're trying to train them a specific trick or you're trying to train them something they're really struggling to understand what you're saying, a click is perfect because it gives the exact moment, it's just like that moment right there and then you give them a treat tells them exactly what to do rather than you saying yes although you might think you're immediately saying yes you might be saying it a little bit too early um, and I would say that if you learn clicker training you can teach your dog anything it's just and it's really quite good fun as well if I want to do some training with Watson now because he's used to this clicker if he was in the house now he's away with the walker but if he was in the living room and I did that he would come running because he's like oh it's training time excellent what do I need to do you know um so yeah I love that I've got one household item here and then two health things this is Watson's toy box and as you can see I can pick it up and move it um, but I think that this is really looks really nice in the living room it just made such a difference from the I had one of those black sort of rattan boxes I mean to be fair it, it was all chewed from when um, we had an, a puppy over visiting they chewed it all up but I just think that that's really really neat and because it's a nice grey it goes with most colours um, so that's a household thing and like I said I've got a couple of health things I wanted to show you these t-shirts um, and you may recognize them um, and they have dual uses for me 
I love that lilac one and I love this green one as well, although now it just reminds me of Watson's Operation, but still, it's beautiful. So I've used these for two things. One is when Watson had his operation under his arm, when he had his tumour removed, I wanted to stop it getting dirty. I wanted to stop him nibbling at it, although, you know, a lot of the time it was covered. There, were, there came a time where it needed to heal in, it needed to be uncovered, and I didn't necessarily want him to have the cone on when we were out walking. So I would put this T-shirt on him and it covered it and it meant that he, he just didn't bother with it at all. So they were perfect for that. And so any kind of surgery that your dog's got to have like on the tummy or on the back or on the neck or on the underarm area these would be great and it's you can buy medical vests but I think the medical vests are like this but maybe a thicker material um, but these are just as good and a lot less expensive but another thing I used these for was in the summer um, I just soaked them in water and put them you could put them in the freezer I did try that but I just soaked them in water and would put them on him and what it meant was that the walker could just pour water over it and it would keep him cool so that was absolutely fantastic um really good buy those so I keep hold of those in case I need them again the other thing I was going to say for health is raw food I just I'm not a lover of, of dealing with raw food I've never been into raw meat myself when I was single and lived alone I never ate meat for that reason um, but I can manage certainly to feed it to Watson because of how amazing it is you know for his system it definitely helps his his tummy his colitis is helped by it um, and it's the only food really that he seems to finish a whole bowl you know and be delighted to eat he's a very very fussy eater so raw food and I love the Bella and Duke food um, and I know a lot of other people do as well and it really is just amazing Bella and Duke actually is the first food that Watson has finished a whole bowl of food but Bella and Duke you do have to kind of dig out the raw food and it can look a little bit gruesome if you're like me with with raw meat if you're not bothered then it'll be fine there are worse ones like the Paleo Ridge literally has you know tongues and lips in it um, but the nature's menu chunks and they are complete chunks they are what Watson was on before Bella and Duke he didn't enjoy the food as much as the Bella and Duke I use the 80 20 10 no 80 10 10 from Bella and Duke um, and I think it's because Watson doesn't like fish at all and there's got fish oil in the complete chunks but there's lots of different flavors and he did used to eat it and they are not gruesome at all they're just frozen chunks and so you just put you know however many chunks into a bowl um let it defrost in the fridge overnight and then that's their dinner ready so there's no kind of messing about you know so i did just want to mention raw food because it's been such a success for Watson. I think, you know had it have been my dog that the rescue that i was working with i would have put her on raw food because raw food that is as they call it species appro appropriate is much better for them like you don't have the additives that you've got in kibble now Watson does still have a bit of kibble for breakfast now and then for varying reasons um, but I don't love the fact that it's got fillers in it and it's obviously got preservatives in it whereas a raw food diet is completely natural you know um, and of course you can give them a cooked diet but I have tried that with Watson as well and his digestion system just doesn't like it um, but what I was going to say is that raw food has been known to change behaviors as well you know and make dogs calmer and more able to deal with life um, and also help with allergies and things like that so it's kind of an all-round good egg um, but I know that a lot of people have reservations for us I don't we don't have chicken he doesn't have raw chicken he has um, duck and tripe and so those are foods that humans could eat raw if that makes sense and so there's not such a big risk um although i am you know really fastidious about hygiene around it but anyway i wanted to mention raw food in case you like us have been trying everything for a dog um with colitis that's my favorites of 2019 let me know please what your favorite item has been if you discovered anything new in 2019 for your dog any toys any walking gadgets i'm sure i could probably give you another 10 favorites and i'll forget things you know and i'll be like oh i should have mentioned that and i should have mentioned that i've not really talked about treats um like I said I could probably mention a lot more but I, I won't I will stop it now and I'll list everything for you in the description thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon